Probably loaded. What's that? 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 It wasn't just normal bingo. Fuck off. Yeah. It was a really Harry Potter bingo. It was a Harry Potter themed bingo night. Harry Potter themed yeah. bingo. That's spectacular. Uh, where are we? Okay, good evening. There we go. Just make sure the mics are on. Mics are all on. Welcome along. Anyway, this is the Tuesday Club. This, of course, is the Bluffer's Guide to Bluffing a World Cup Bride Show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, we're, we're not bluffing. We are. We Steen are. Knows, most definitely Steen knows about I tell you what, will you do me, do me a favour? We're going we're gonna to bring this microphone in so the two of you can share it. Just take, these are like the four tops, except there's two of you. <laughs> um, and just all remember, it's LFC till we die. <laughs> <laughs> or England for the next few weeks or when Jamie decides to go full falling down and takes us all out anyway <laughs> right there we are good evening good evening good evening as I said before um, right so tonight we're going to be having a look at the transfers we're going to be having a look at the World Cup uh, we're going to tell you who we think are the, are the top tips for the World Cup the players to look at um, and why uh, the songs are pretty crap this year so I'm just uh, that's the only thing that I've looked up about the World Cup I'm <laughs> saying um, of course, the, 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 this thing is brought to you in association with, look, I'll do the little spiel and I'll stick it into the podcast, right? But it is brought to you in association with Redsbet. Redsbet is a fan's bet, betting site, so that whatever bets you put on, everyone always wins. We'll be doing something separate around our fancy football team, um, and we'll probably do that tomorrow night using the tactics board uh, as a vehicle for doing it, right? Because it's the eve of the, of, of the World Cup. And so, given the problems we've had with setup, we've broken our camera, we've had nowhere to record, we've dropped the camera six times at this stage, <laughs> um, and uh, we aren't using it we're using my laptop at, at this point in time so it's, we've gone full high tech anyway tonight we've got Ray Dakota Kinsane we've got Andy Young uh, also known for all his World Cup campaigns since we started at the Trippers with Steve Brown and we have James O'Regan in here I'm not going to do too much talking tonight which is waffle and um, and where it is now so uh, lads I did an agenda right which is very yeah. rare for me right? and um, let's let's get on with this and uh, Andy I know how excited you've been about the World Cup as well so oh, look I don't want to ruin it right yeah. um, and just before we get into it because everyone's going to be asking let's just briefly discuss because Liverpool have done a lot of business since the transfer window hasn't mm. opened right mm. um, and it is time to to, to, to go there and uh, look I suppose Andy you, since you do get a nod and a wink every now and then you have a big an- announcement to make about who the next player we're going to sign is called who, what's the name of that player I forget <laughs> <laughs> and who does he play for <laughs> Uh, Valencia I forget though <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell me so, Andy, who, who do you think we'll sign next uh, well I'll tell you who we're not going to sign <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to sign Feck here because he is um, his, knee, his knee has 18 months left in it do you reckon so it's a, yeah it'd be a lot of money 18 to spend. months yeah that, I'd take the 18 months mm-hmm. we could win a Champions League and a league title with him would, but, would, I'll ask you like this would 50 million to win a league title be worth it yeah, yeah. Well, I think you could win I, could, I think Liverpool could spend 50 million on a goalkeeper and win the league yeah mm. and would you know the name of that goalkeeper by any chance <laughs> um, I don't know like uh, we're probably going to have to spend big on a goalkeeper to, to improve the situation and the two names are out there is just Alisson and <laughs> all black mm. after that then we're probably into keeping Carrius yeah. because Butland just doesn't isn't going to improve the team to the point that you're going to have a kind of a ten point swing where you're going to have enough points to put a, a league challenge on. So yeah, right. Um, you're a, you're 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 well known around Liverpool ways, given that you're from Liverpool, um, and everyone knows everyone there. It's a bit like when people come over to and say, "Do you know? Do you? Yeah. I've got a cousin there in Bell Bell Mullet. Do you know them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. do yeah, yeah. yeah. Tommy. Uh, anyway, Ray. You know lads in the club and everything. You actually know oh, yeah. lads in the club, don't you? I do, do you? know. <laughs> do you know one specific lad in the club? Um, do, you, um, uh, do you want to tell us? Unnamed. Do you want to? Do, do you want to tell us what's going on? Since you've got all the transfer knowledge, if anybody wants to know where Grizz gets his transfer knowledge, we we of course tell you <laughs> yeah, that Ray right. Dickinson is the source of all. I, of think, all. I think Grizz is absolutely gutted at the moment with all of this with Fekir, isn't he? Yeah. You know, I think I think a lot of the ITKs were kind of caught between a rock and a hard place because obviously things developed 
uh, unexpectedly around the medical with Fakir. I mean, look, I, I don't personally think you can lay a massive amount of blame on mm. the club. They're just they're doing their due diligence, and something's come up. And there was obviously time pressures with France going to the World Cup. So it seems like a sensible thing to take a step back. Okay. Um, so I've got no no issue with it. Um, let's 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 just see how the World Cup unfolds now. Not okay. just from the Fick here point of view, but, mm-hmm. but a few other players that we might but you'd, have you'd, our eye on. You know, you'd have to have an issue with the the leaks. You know, like reputable journalists came out and said that a deal is done and everything else. I think Liverpool would have been aware of the history with the knee already. Okay. To so some extent, had, yeah. It wasn't until he had uh, the MRI, they were able to identify exactly the extent of it. But I think they just need to hold off on having the likes of Joey speaking about it when it's not finalised. But Andy, it's, a, it's too, many, it's it too was... many times now the club has been left with egg in its face. Okay, can, can I stay, right, I want to ask you here, because like, you've been, you, you got to Liverpool a bit, right, fair play to you. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but come here to me, you know, for me anyway, the, the whole take from this fair care thing is that most of the talk, the inside information, the knowledge that's come out, me, has actually come from the French side as yeah. opposed to from the Liverpool side. Like Liverpool essentially has just been like, there's now we're, silence. Yeah, we're, we're on holidays. There's yeah. literally been, yeah. <clears throat> as you said, there's, Literally being nothing. Mm-hmm. All the links, all the leaks, everything has come from the French media, from RMC, from Get French Football, from Le Keep. That's where all the news has come from. Mm-hmm. And the likes of Joyce and Melissa Reddy and Dave Malik and whoever else picked up on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, very noticeable that James Pierce was one of the choir ones. He's on holiday. Because he's on holiday. <laughs> this is the thing. This is why it's all coming from France. This is why. Uh-huh. See, this is why James the Pierce is the man. He yeah. knows when to go on holidays. What? Nothing's going to happen, lads. I'm off. Boom. All the information coming from the French side when they would have been privy to more information with regards to Fekir's injuries, with regards to his knees. Mm. He was out for a couple of... It was He missed a fair chunk of games this season as well. He's apparently on this training regime where he has to be managed training-wise so he can mm. only train certain amounts or certain times or whatever it may be. So that's a red flag. That sounds like fucking Paul McGrath. Like. Okay. James. Yep. 50 million to win the league. <laughs> Yes, of course I would, because it's been so long since we've won the league, so I would. But um, it's not know, as simple as that. It, no, yeah, no, what, it's not. What, what is the actual? You know, you know that's just a statement. Mm. Yeah. Fifty million to win the league. What do we do? Chip in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the fans could crowdfund. The, like if, they, if we said to the club, look, at, you don't pay what, the fee that? for Fekir. Coffee, thinky. Yeah, coffee, coffee. Actually, if anyone, coffee's a really good thing. You should go down there and buy us two points and you'll get your name on the, the new bunker wall. Anyway, um, let's just think about it though. The club's approach is always, is always you it's know, we, we, talk, we talk about the money ball, money ball approach yeah. and all that sort of stuff. They don't want to pay all that money on an asset that potentially could be pretty much worthless in three years' time. But yeah. right, isn't that the case though? Look, if, if if tomorrow, say, Ramos tackles Van Dijk in the World Cup, right? And, yeah. And his knee is destroyed. Isn't it? Isn't that, but isn't that a risk that you want? Van Dijk's not at the World it Cup. It is, yeah, but yeah. you, but, we'll but if, you know, if you know that someone's <laughs> knees are made yeah. of Pringles, then yeah. what, yeah. like, what's the especially, point? Especially with the way Liverpool play and the style they play, all mm. the sprint and all the press and all the hair training. That's, exactly. You know, yeah. you, you want to be buying someone that has at least two good knees. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway look, right. look yeah. I, I, I don't want to labour, so fake here can feck off now at this stage, right? Yeah, Although, it's not dead, dead, well, it's actually, not dead in the water. I mean, all we're talking about was speculation, and journalist's job is to come out with something and get clicks, you know. And like, I don't know, they could have how, how, exaggerated how, this. What, Mar- <laughs> there's been lots of rumours today that basically um, they will still sell them, uh. but. Of course sure they will. will. Of course they will. Yeah. I mean, I know, it's no, like, like, what I mean is like to, to, me. to us, like, but, but they've yeah. at a reduced rate. Like, yeah, but the thing, <coughs> the, the thing that's sort of led to this now, just the pause button being yeah. hit, is the World Cup. Absolutely. They were tra- it was a bit of a rush job to try and get it done before the World Cup. Mm. We showed yep. our intent to get it done and we come unstuck. I mean, we just tried to rush I think, it I with, think, with I, the whole thing around I, the reveal I, 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 and all I'll just bring a bit of calm back to the Liverpool fan base, right? I just mm. want to remember, the last time we rushed an attacker deal through before the World Cup was for Licky Rambert. 
And like that's <laughs> like that's you just need to remember that and not worry about it too much. Okay, look, the, I want to move it on because obviously yeah. the the big thing that everyone's talking about now is because we we, we need to bathe ourselves in in cleansing sorrowful gel and come out arising with a new man in front of us to say you are a new Messiah. We love you. So who's our goalkeeper? Alison doesn't want to come to us, and neither does Jennifer, Philippa, or Sue. <laughs> so or Kathy or Annabelle too. But if it's not Alison. Right, the f- from what I know, um, Leno's doing at twenty five million. But Butland, would he be one, Ray, for you? I'm not. I'm not. It's like a. It, it is like a really shit team park, Butland. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the whole mm. competition now. The whole, mm. co- uh, you know, I, I'd prefer us to just stump up the cash on or black personally. Yeah. Okay. I've been of that opinion for well, sin- basically since the, the Champions League final. Now people seem to have this. Thing that we can pay the release clause and all black just walks away of let come and drift. Like people seem, people seem to. I'm not saying talk, he'll come, but no, but people seem that to would talk be my preference. Of how yeah. big a club they are. Oh, they, yeah. you know they're, what I mean? They have played in yeah. how many Champions League yeah. finals in the past couple of years? They won the Europa League this year. Like they're a f- massive club. Why yeah. would all black want to leave the second best team in they, Spain? Well, they, are, to well, Liverpool? they are, they yeah. are a massive club, obviously, but they have got a history of selling their players. They have yeah. a history of bringing players on right. to a, an yeah. elite level and selling them for big money. And I think Liverpool are probably in the best position to buy. Right. Uh, and, you know, like, Oblak is probably the number one goalkeeping target in the world at the moment. And for the first time in a very, very long time, Liverpool are in that position where they can probably... He's gonna, yeah. If he's the number one target, he's going to save it. <laughs> save percentage. We're going to get into it. I'm I, I, certainly not going to get excited about any goalkeeper tar- targets. Team. Like, you know, from Carrius to... Butland, are you, are you talking about any sort of a point swing? Carry us to Butland over the course of forty-eight games. Beautiful. You side. bring in a big, you bring in a big goalkeeper, the hell level, and mm-hmm. all of a sudden we can challenge Transform. for the title. Yeah. So I, I, if you can get Oblak, fair enough. Stump up the cash. Uh, there's, there's no point. There's no point. James Hooper says, "Oh, black, oh, another... black, and Fekir, 140 million. We win the league." I'll just point out, it's Fekir, 50 million. Yeah. We win the league. Well, I don't That's think. Like, I, I don't. I don't think it's that straightforward with Fekir at the moment. I just don't see Liverpool paying 88 million quid for a goalkeeper when Edison, who completely changed the way Man City played, who won the league, not didn't win the league for Man City, but won the league with Man City last year, mm. completely transformed them. Mm. He went for thirty two and a half million quid. James mm. Oblak. What about him? Would you would you spend eighty million to release him from his prison? Eighty nine, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's 80. 80, 89 million euro. Oh, yeah, you're right. It could be ninety five million sterling at this well, rate. There's rumours that he's going to sign a new deal and it goes up to one hundred and forty million. So you know, mm. and he's he 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 hasn't signed that new contract yet, but. Um, to be honest, I haven't seen enough of him to play to, to really go and say I would spend 90 million on him. I've seen Alisson play. He looks a good keeper. Um, my worry bringing someone like Butland in is you're left in the situation which we had at the start of the season. We didn't have a number one keeper. You had Mignolet and Karius and they were back and forth, in and out. And then it was only when we got like the Klopp, you know, Karius was made number one. Yeah. But... And I think if we get someone mid level, we face that situation again. I think if he buys Butland, I think he's the number one goalkeeper personally. (laughs) Dude, the person. Why do you fucking laugh at that? (laughs) (laughs) If you buy Butland, should be back and forth. Butland is a massive. It's it's a side (laughs) step. It's a side step. (laughs) I. I haven't seen Butland live. Like, <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> yes, I haven't actually gone to the Stoke Liverpool game and watched Butland play live. It, his kicking is no better than Mignolet. His distribution is slow. It, he's not great with his hands. Doesn't move his feet very well. Whereas there, there is no improvement. Yeah, um, and he's going to become the most expensive goalkeeper in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Right. Who? Butland? Butland. Most expensive goalkeeper in the world is Edison for 36 or 32 million quid. But I, I don't think. I, I, but Butland has a bio clause uh, of 13 million. So you could get Shakiri and Butland. 13? You're the only one that says that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going around telling people that. And <laughs> everyone, everyone's like, going, oh, really? No, no, no. <laughs> no, we signed Leno for 25 million. Yeah. Uh, no, seriously, if, 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 anyone wants to, if anyone wants to get on to whatever, Red Bit and uh, lump on uh, Bernd Leno to us for 25 million, stick yeah. two euro on that, that's, you, you win a lot but of money. Yeah. To, anyway, to answer, whole, to answer the whole Oblak like, for a fucking 90 million question, you need to know how much money they have mm-hmm. to spend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if 100 million is the budget for the summer, 
mm. then obviously not. Okay, but I'll, if they I'll, have, I'll, I'll if they have ma- mad I'll, money, I keep asking this question. The problem is, if, if Carius hadn't got a sick now from the doctor, right? Yeah. We probably will be all saying, well, look, if he comes back in, he, he hasn't got any mental issues, right? Now, mm-hmm. the, the, the thing is, do you, if you can't get the goalkeeper you want, do you sign a top quality centre back to play alongside Van Dijk and facilitate Carius to have a redemption? No, I think you go for an older goalkeeper that will come in until you have the ability to go and get a top your top number one target. Mm-hmm. So who would that be, Stephen Brown? A one or two year stopgap. Yeah. Has Reina gone to Milan? Yep. Yep. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Buffon's gone to PSG. Casillas. Casillas. Why not? Stupid. Better than Wait, what's wrong with Casillas now? Better than Carries. What about Rui Patricio and Free from Sporting Lisbon? Well, Casillas is a free as well. Mm. But like at the same time, the problem with Casillas, and I watched him when he went, when he went to, to Portugal, he has really slowed up when he's lost the spring. Carries hasn't got a fucking head though. Mm. Well, no, I'm, I'm just. I, no, I, I, I don't. Just I don't mind. I don't mind. Idea. Like, I, I can I, accept. I, I accept your point, but at, at the same time, you could probably sign a, a more consistent, experienced goalkeeper. So I yeah. think. I think once you step away from the Allison, just say the name. Old Black. Sir. Just say the name. Oh. <laughs> you know exactly who you're going to say. So just say it. No, no, no. Once you step away from the Allison Old Black, even Courtois, <clears throat> because the Courtois deal is up. Courtois as well. would be the interesting. Does, mm-hmm. Once you step away from them, does that level of goalkeeper in Europe, which are the top top end, and once you step away, most of them, most of them are just in a clump of a much of a muchness. Now, yeah. if you take yeah. statistically, Butland mm. is one of the best in England when you boil all the numbers down and have a look across the thing and you can understand if, 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 we, if, if statistics play a big part in our recruitment which they probably do yeah. that that's why he will be very high up our list and if it's 13 million then you know it's, it's, it's a, a bit of a no brainer for the club mm-hmm. it would still make him the most expensive keeper they've ever signed because it doesn't take a million out of his place right Seems but it wouldn't it, it, yeah but then mm. y- then you've got this battle between Butland and Carius yeah. to, to see who becomes number one and you can sell Mignolet to I don't to, think to, to, to get a few quid for Mignolet yeah who cares someone someone will give us a few quid, quid. Yeah, no. Dorman, was Trap is going to Dortmund is he oh, okay. mm. Trap is going to Dortmund to, which will be interesting because Borky has been excellent for them since Bar the day. other fucking lunatic to play for Madrid who else would you choose? You mean as in Kyle and Avis? Yeah. Well, I, 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 I think Navis is personally. We'll, we'll, we'll see plenty of him in the World Cup. We'll see plenty of him in the World Cup. I think there was a report about, around Allison is that basically Allison has been brought in not as a number one, but to compete with Taylor and Avis. Madrid um, are not get, letting go of Navis. If, 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 the, if, if Madrid aren't signing Kepa Abrazabra, right? Kepa. Then that, that's, yeah, you yeah. can bring him in. But if you if you say you want to bring a bit of experience and you want to bring somebody who's used to playing at the top end, why don't you go and maybe get somebody like um, Ali Bowman who's been a half who went to Hoffenheim and got them into the into the Champions League? What was the lad that was at Valencia? Diego. Uh, he's gone back to Spain. He's gone back to Brazil. I know the fellow Diego Lopez. Is it Lopez. Well, was Lopez. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, or else do you do you look at someone like Jan Sommer or something like that? If if or someone that has experience of challenging for top four, and that's probably why. Leno will be signed because he's been in a Bayer Leverkusen t- side who's been challenging for top four and expected a challenge for honours for the last few years and has performed consistently if not brilliantly I think there needs to be a question asked about the goalkeeper coaching as well mm. if you're bringing a new goalkeeper a young goalkeeper that you want to shape into a certain type of goalkeeper we've seen Actabird's body of work from yeah. Reina to Mignolet to Carius. Mm. Where's that improvement? We'll come back to that before the start of the season. There's been mentioned of Sillison as well, which we put out there. He's sitting on the bench at Barcelona. He is Dutch number one. Um, and we've put together a small little orange crew in, in, in terms of what's there between Winnie and, and Van Dijk. But yeah, anyway, so lads, um, if it's not, though, Shakiri would we be take would we take him for twelve million? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Only yeah. Because of the price, personally, yeah. I'm not a big fan of his. I, I, I just don't think he's fulfilled his potential, and I've seen wow. him. I've seen him plenty of times for Stoke, and he. I'm not convinced about his attitude, but at 12 million, a good you're bolstering your squad, aren't you? you a, know? Good, a good show, club actually, there. A good show for an experienced older approve. keeper, um, Handanovic at Inter Milan. Massive. Yeah, mm. yeah. I really like Handanovic. In a, in a Van der Sar type mm. of way, a yeah. massive yeah. presence in the goal, and like he is. But is he, is he uh, the talk of the system that we play? Mm. We need a keeper that's going to fit that system. That's the other thing. Mm. Because Courtois doesn't fit that system. No, no. Which is a big issue. Even as good a goalkeeper as he is, he doesn't fit that system. So that has to be one of the main questions asked. In what way doesn't Kurt well fit it? He doesn't come off his line. He sits very deep. He sits mm. very deep. He, he has a back three in front of him in Chelsea. Anyway, look, um, so 
Shakiri, we take. I'm. I, I look. I know it was Shakiri's biggest fan. We me and you raved about Shakiri four years ago. But the problem we have with yeah. Shakiri is if he's being bought as a backup to the front three, I just don't see the goals in him. I think he's a backup to the backup. I think there's one. It would have been Fakir plus one. That's not gonna. Shakiri's not gonna fancy that though. But he back himself you know. to try and get into the team. That's, mm. that's but what the, 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 the only pro- the only problem is Shakiri's already done this at Bayern Munich and failed. Yeah. that's why he went that's why he went to, ended up at Stoke instead of going to us at the time yeah. because he didn't want to sit on the bench and he didn't want to fight his way and he wanted to play first team football he's 26 I can't see him wanting to try well I think Liverpool put the work into getting him before yeah. and then it, it, it was pulled Yeah, and then they weren't going to go back in for him again so if it's not for Keir, can get a, you, I mean Shakiri can get a regular game for a lot of teams in the Premier League <laughs> like okay 20 stars, I'll, I'll, I'll put it this Tennessee. way if it's not for Keir, then who is it then Bele I don't think it's Dembele. I think it should be Dembele. Because how much, how much do Barcelona still owe us? Yeah. Who would you like it to be or who, who, yeah. who is it? I mean, like, Fekir kind of just came out of blue. Let's be honest about this, Andy. It did look many lads not, not, if, not, like. not like there was people, there was yeah, ITKs that, that said back in November that he was he was being earmarked as, as Coutinho's replacement. Along with how many other names? I don't know, ask Chris. He has about he has uh, three fools cap copy books of them. I'm convinced they just go on to that Transfer America website and just go <laughs> so for comparable like, players. Yeah, comparable <laughs> players. Like, click on Mane and then see can we get more Mane? The one, yeah. the one that, the, the one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if that comes up. <laughs> 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 this is why you keep questions. The fella, the fella I said way back to this, and it wasn't to do with ITK stuff, I was watching Ajax. The fella I thought that would fit naturally into replacing Coutinho would have been HM or Hatim Zoyek, the fella who's playing. Is, is, is it Morocco or Tunisia? He's playing Morocco. for Morocco, yeah, Morocco in the World Cup. He, he, if you look at the stats across the leagues, yeah. he outperformed. He was in the top. He was in the top eleven players, in across all the stats that we look at for our attacking players. And he has he has the range of pass and takes free kicks and takes penalties. If you're going to look at fella, the only problem is he might be a bit light, lightweight for the Premiership, and he he wouldn't cost a fortune. So anyway, that's that's yeah. just a random one. Right, it. lads, let's move it on because we haven't got all night. And of course, nope. James, um, we, it, it, when he's trying to get us out before his missus turns on Periscope and sees sees her house <laughs> 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 on the internet. So lads, I, moving along to the Russia World Cup uh, 2018. First of all, I'd like to point out, and I think it is worth pointing out at this point in time, that um, to be honest with you, like as World Cups go, Russia's a bit uninspiring for a place to have it. Right, there's, right. I, I, I turned on today hoping to hear like when Brazil was coming up there was all deadly songs and there was the samba beats and there was the bossa nova and there was that like that sense take a chance on me yeah Abba 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 was there Samba Baba Samba Baba let's face it Russia haven't really done themselves any favours lately have they no they haven't they pissed everybody off literally pissed everyone in the world off so now they're having a World Cup in a country that's Pissing everyone off, so that doesn't help. Been having Germany a couple of times. They <laughs> <laughs> pissed a lot of people off. Allegedly. <laughs> Just no, I don't think there's any legend on that one. No. But I, I, no, look, let's be honest about this, right? Like, it, it is, it's a shit country to have a World Cup in, right? Like, for a start, it's the biggest country in, on on the earth. Right. It'll probably look brilliant compared yeah. to Qatar in four years' time. It's four years, and it's <laughs> going to be Morocco, like if if, if, if the lad if the lad the lads Mexico, who get sunstroke Canada. you know the lads that go out and do the building and come in with the builders tan and have sunstroke and everything like that <laughs> like they're gonna they're just gonna melt in Qatar. But like yeah. you look at Russia, right? So there's thirty four thousand miles between one stadium to the other. It's crazy. What? Mm. You, you, you yeah, might walk that. England have mm. to fly six and a half three time zones. Miles. Three time zones away. Yeah. Mm. Like there's, there's only two time zones in Ireland. Yeah, <laughs> there's one. There's one. Uh, there's one stadium expected to play the the football in uh, in thirty degrees, and the other one in uh, near freezing. That's, it, that's, that's not really fair, is it? Outrageous, that is. Mm. It's it's completely outrageous. Ray Dickinson. Yeah. Have you been like? I'll, I'll ask that's you the only one here who's got a, a, an interest, a vested interest. A vested interest. <laughs> Why? No, we'll put, we'll put some money in the meter. That's the main thing. <laughs> yeah. 
Right, so you were saying you have a vested interest in this World Cup. Yeah, I have in a way. But are, you, like, I, I, but are I, you not Scouts? Yeah, but... But then if you're Scouts, how are you English? Yeah, you're not English. I, yeah, but, I, but I, I am still English <laughs> at the end of the day. Look, I, I, you know, I do want England to do well. Um, Why? Well, there's plenty of Liverpool players in there for starters, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Look, it, go, it really goes back to the fact, like my old man always would, would go on about how great it was 1966 and how, you know, how the country, you know, celebrated mm. that that and and, and obviously Euro ninety six was 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 great as well. That, I don't know, it's just something special about the World Cup. Obviously you love it when Ireland are, mm. are in it and, and, and it's no different for me really at the end of the day. Ah it is you know that's just the way it is. I, I you know I, I do genuinely take an interest in, in England doing well in the tournament. Usually, usually it's all very negative, but obviously this time around, I don't think Southgate's got the level of baggage that most managers would, would, would have had over the previous World Cups. But it doesn't seem it's the same hype. No, and that's a good thing yeah. as well. That's, that, that, that's, that is really a good, good thing. Yeah. It's yeah. quite a likeable England squad. Yeah. What is? Yeah. Do you think? Mm. Like, yeah, has yeah. Lingard and I can't stand him. Oh, him is fucking dancing. Then when yeah. I start going through a Harry Kane, I hope well, like, I, I, I yeah. hope he ends up feckered. <laughs> yeah. Delali, Del, Del disgusting. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I look at them. I look at every. I look at them, and there's just so many reprehensible players in that England squad. It's just it's mm. vile. It's vile. Yeah, yeah. Outside the Liverpool players, I, I no, think it it's is, just like, vile. I mean, any England team, like John, Selke, John Terryless, Real Ferdinandless. He's basically uh, English Coleman. Disgusting. <laughs> That's all he is. There's no real. There's no. Real, Shit, Middlesbrough manager. There's no real hateable players at the moment, is there? In the England team, there is Harry Kane. No, I can't he's not. It. He hasn't even. He, 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 he is disgusting. Yeah, he is, okay, he is yeah, a moaning he, little. He done his. He done his dickhead thing trying to claim the goal and all. That, but he hasn't. He hasn't done that in mad yet. Too mad. No. But there is, was, yeah. He's not. He's not. Was it, was it late he cried. He wanted to be captain. Yeah, 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 you can be brilliant. captain for the World Cup. Okay, you can be captain for the World Cup. <laughs> 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 Please come out to the World Cup, Harry, if you don't. I'm not going if you don't make me captain. And poor old Henderson there with his tongue hanging out. Going, I'm not the captain anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. Don't think he wants to be captain. Of no. no. Doesn't want I to be associated stretch. with his muck. I'd say he's sick of being captain because everyone keeps saying he's a shit captain. No, no, yeah. But come here, would you like now, you know the way in the 1966 World Cup, right, the Jimmy Greaves got dropped for the final yeah, and yeah. It, was, it, was, it was very controversial yeah. and he went on to win it and if that happened then Henderson would get to li- would lift the trophy if Harry Kane was dropped yep yeah. that could, could you imagine dropped. could you imagine the absolute confusion that would send half of LFC Twitter into if Henderson ends up lifting the World Cup for <laughs> England <laughs> yeah, having yeah, captain yeah. in the Liverpool side to a Champions yeah. League final it must be very <laughs> like for a lot of fans <laughs> For a lot of fans supporting Liverpool, it must be uh, very extremely confusing. Yeah. You know, they must be so split. It's, it's her- devastating for them. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Andy, so anyway, let's, let's go on. Um, Stephen, you, uh, you have, I have to say, what people don't realise is that Stephen has been trying to get a World Cup podcast going for the last... Um, Six weeks. Uh, six weeks, yeah. yeah and um, I said, no, no, we're doing all the hard work on the previews, etc. around it, right? So, Stephen, uh, this is all his rough work. He's got a lovely little copy book and he's done all his writing on it. He's so. done a whole Fool's Cap page. A whole Fool's Cap page <laughs> on what it is. So, I, I'd, I'd like, first of all, to, to ask you, Stephen, right? Um, how do you think Holland will do in the World Cup? I think that's a struggle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely going to struggle, yeah. But the Italians, you can always be guaranteed the Italians will make the quarter They're going to struggle as well, aren't they? I don't think they're going to get out of the group, to be honest. This, I have to say, this is the first World Cup. Actually, it's not. I tell a lawyer, right? Because I only think about this in the car. This is the first World Cup since, I think, 2006 that I haven't paid attention to who's in yeah. or anything like that. And I think yeah. it's because Liverpool have literally had nothing going on yeah. in all the other World Cups up until this year's one. Yeah. I'm not exactly inspired by it either. Yep. So maybe it'd be just fair if they just let it all play out and then let, let uh, Holland and Italy play in the final. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually fucking mad the Holland there and there yeah. when you look at the squad, the players available to them. Or Italy. Or Italy. Well yeah, it is. It's fucking I actually they, they played they played in a friendly, didn't they, there the other night and I watched it and I have to say they were they were as bad as one another. You can yeah. see why they hadn't qualified. Okay, can I ask who do you think now is going to be the dark horse at the World Cup, right? 
Oh God, I don't know. Um, Peru. There's usually someone, Is isn't Peru? there, that comes, Peru. that comes through. Mm. Um, I don't know, someone like Mexico, someone random like that. Do you remember... There's Kate, usually someone who gets to the semis that is completely unexpected. There will, uh, there will be one team that makes the semi-final, right, that you, nobody will pick at this moment. Yeah. Right? I think Colombia was the last World Cup. Yeah. yeah. Right? So obviously you, got, you have that, Brazil. That, that's the part I enjoy quarter, more than anything. Finals. You know, watching teams that you don't expect yeah, getting yeah. to like quarterfinals and yeah. Chile, you know, things this, like that. No, no, no chili. I had a look at all the Peru's qualifiers there. Did I? you? All of them? Every one of them. Right. 18 of them? Yeah. Yeah. And so, they were very impressive. They scored loads of goals. Did they? Yeah. Who's that main man? Jerry Herrero. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Herrero. Jerry Herrero. Is that who you say? <laughs> He's a whopper. He's Guerrero. a... Uh, Your man used to play with Boy Munich. Play with Guerrero. He was actually, he was banned yeah. for drugs. Yeah. But he's cleared to play now. Cleared, yeah. A bit of he's got, I think he, play, he plays in Brazil now. Yeah. Flamingo or something like that. Yep. He's brilliant. Oh, scores loads of goals. A bow vista. Yeah. Who, what group are they in then? Peru are in the same group as France and Denmark. Okay. Yeah. I was stunned to find out that Panama. I thought Panama was just the name of a canal. Yeah. But it turns out it's a country. Yeah. And they're in the World Cup. They qualify. They're in England. The USA's group. expense, I think. They're did they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They do, do. Yeah. And Pulisic, Pulisic group, must yeah. be rubbish if Panama mm. can qualify ahead of England. But Jürgen Klinsmann was the manager of, of America, wasn't he? Uh, I don't know. Um, so, nah. can I, uh, Stephen, you've done all the, the research. So, tell me, who yeah. do you think you're, who, for you, who will the dark horse for Stephen Brown be? Uruguay. They're hardly a dark That's horse. not really a dark horse. It, it, they've, won a, they've loads of quality. See, the thing with it is that it's not... Luis Suarez, Cavani, yeah. Muslera and go. How is that a dark horse? Yeah. There isn't going to be a dark horse. It's gotten to the stage where football is so global that there's no surprise package. There's no Cameroon well, from I, 1990 coming out. Okay, let, let, let me propose something to you. Egypt. I can't wait till Egypt get out of the group and have to play Spain in the second round. But to, to get out of the group, they're going I don't to, have think, to I think knock out England and Uruguay and Saudi Arabia. They're probably not. No, no. Saudi Arabia, Russia, Russia which they should do. I think it's going to be a case of Salah doesn't play the Uruguay Reading game. Upside down here, so yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salah doesn't play the Uruguay game. Plays the second two games. They win the second two games and they go through. And they go through. That's the way I'd look at it. Um, and then they get to play Spain in the second round. Assume, assume absolutely okay. That's assu- well, that's assuming Andy. Portugal don't don't do yes, Spain so in the group. Andy, who's your dark horse? I just told you, Peru wasn't listening to you. Peru. Sorry about that. He watched all eighteen <laughs> games. That's right. Okay, so who's your favourite, Ray? Favourite, yeah. When you look um, across all the groups, so let's 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 take a quick run through the groups. Loads of them. Who was your <laughs> favourite to come out of the groups? Out of the groups. Fuck to man. win the World Cup. Oh, to win the World Cup. Because <laughs> you can't win it if you don't come out of the group. Like um, I'm going to say France. I'd say Brazil, only that. I just I have this thing that says it's going to be a European team that wins it. Okay, well, oh. okay. Well, I've noticed that none of his, I was hoping that James would say it, but Senegal. None of his fancy Senegal. With yeah. Mane well, and Keita. He asked who was the dark horse, and yeah. I said Peru. But Senegal would be if Peru didn't exist but it does <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what Keita huh what Keita is he not playing for Senegal Keita doesn't play for Senegal who no. does he play for Guinea why aren't they yeah. in the World Cup I'm told that he's the best he player because he kept getting sent off <laughs> I was told he's he absolutely lamb some lad do you remember Cape Verde what happened to them ah. they qualified at some stage There's a lot okay, of come, on, come on, come on. on. Mane is going to rip it up yeah, I think Senegal could be an interesting thing. They play, if things go to form, they could play, they play Belgium in the last 16. Belgium. They could play England. They could play England. England. Belgium. Yeah. Uh, Belgium have a massive tie of being people thinking they'll do well and they constantly bottle it. Mm. Um, plus they've Roberto Martinez and Thierry Henry in charge. So. I, I wanted to ask this because Belgium does fascinate me, right? So Martinez didn't even bring Nangle to the World Cup. Now he's the type of player I want in my squad every single day of the week, mm. right? He just, he, he, he'd run through you to win a match, right? <laughs> Um, and Martinez is one of those most overrated managers knocking around the, the, the place, right? Um, purely because he talked nice on Sky Sports and he played a bit, little bit of football every now and then. Um, but the Belgium team, for all its quality, it's likely to underachieve and overachieve. Yeah, absolutely. Agree with that statement? I mean, when did we start really counting Belgium as, as a, a real... Strong, strong team? Probably the, the, the last World Cup. Their last World Cup, was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and they just... 
they've just sort of failed on press each yeah. and every time. It same just seems like they're always same, indiv- yeah, they're just same. always in individuals. So it's this whole golden generation tag, and I yeah, think that weighs yeah. quite heavily, doesn't it? When it's, when it's, when you're in that kind of mold. I mean, the interesting one for me is what what sort of Germany is going to turn up because they like was it five games in a row they've mm. lost leading up to yeah, leading well, up to the World Cup every, every but you can uh, always rely yeah. on them showing up in yeah. these Semi-final tournaments without, without and the, o- the only thing yeah. I will say is that any time Germany have gone to Russia they failed massively in 1945 would be a testament to that yeah <laughs> <laughs> they've never had great success yeah, in Russia yeah. so <laughs> even even France look at Napoleon <laughs> they brought the whole thing down so if we're looking at a historical context I wouldn't be putting any money in France or Germany to do well in Russia That's mm. quite, I'm not yeah no no definitely not no it's look it's going to be an interesting World Cup with regards to the tactical side of things but it's just it's going to come down to who has the best players and I think it's going to be Brazil yeah. Th- thanks for that John George uh, James yeah. Who do you think? Because you went off to have a poo there. Um, who, <laughs> oh. who, was, <laughs> who would your dark horse be? Dark horse, Spain. That's dark horse. <laughs> <laughs> Someone tell fucking James what the dark horse is. <laughs> it's not just a Spain. bunch of tanned fellas. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't think they're in the top four to to, to win it. So who's the top? They're four? literally tour favourites. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Well, I wouldn't have thought. So I would have thought it would have been Brazil, uh, Brazil, Germany, France, and Italy. No, <laughs> not Italy, no. Never rule out the Italians. They mightn't even yeah. be in the group stages, but they'll somehow just appear <laughs> in the quarterfinals. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what about Denmark after they kind of dismantled the Ireland? And they they, uh... ah, no, we're we're just pathetic. So yeah. <laughs> right. So and then, who would you say your favourites would be? Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting that none of us have said Brazil to win this bar, James. Just there. You haven't asked anyone else. What? <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> I said, who do you think will win it? And you said... Peru. Peru. <laughs> <laughs> I, think if, I think if anyone can stop Brazil, it's Peru. Yeah. They've stopped them on a few occasions. Have they? Yeah. At the border. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is, is that not just the fact that their stadium is at a, such a high altitude and then... Uh, it, can't get past it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just can't get, you know, that last World Cup, obviously, they were completely and utterly embarrassed by, by Germany. I, I, you just wonder, is that is any of that going to kind mm. of resurface, you know, when they mm. get deeper into the tournament? Yeah. That, you know, that... I, I, no, I, I fancy Brazil, like, miles out in the distance. Mm. Right, lads, Fre- France and... Um, France are, are, are also being heavily talked up. They've got a, a mm. massive squad. They're all over mm. six foot tall. And like Fair. the... the <laughs> You know, with the, like they got rid of that midget, midget lad. What was his name? Remember the little fella that they used to play with him? Deschamps? No. <laughs> oh, the manager now. Oh, yeah. Deschamps looks like Napoleon. Oh, boy, <laughs> I, I will swear to God, <laughs> I hope in the first match of France he comes out in full Napoleon oh, dress and that hand's stuck in <laughs> like this and just goes through the whole tournament dressed as Napoleon. Oh, my God. Valbuena. Valbuena. That's it. He's That's the reason it. Benzema's not there, isn't he? Who? Yeah, Valverde was the allegedly. whole. It was the whole. I don't want ele- to know. Yeah. Alleged. Uh, alleged. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. I mean, the the one team no one has mentioned is Argentina. Yeah. This is. What, I was going to get onto them as well. I mean, Are they in the World Cup? Didn't you about them not even getting out of their group? <laughs> yeah, there's a possibility that they get caught by Croatia and Nigeria. Um, they just they that they've no one to play centre half. They have. They're still relying on Mascarano. Um, they didn't bring. Mero Cardi, which is fucking crackers. Um, messy. Yeah, but they're all bringing their wives, so there's yeah. a reason for it. Like, <laughs> if you want trouble, <laughs> like messy in, if you want trouble in your camp, oh, I'm, in, I'm injured. Yeah, I'm just going to stay yeah. in the hotel yeah. today. <laughs> Come back home. It's, Where's me, Mrs. Gone? <laughs> they have obviously Messi, and but it seems as though that's all they have. Yeah. They don't have do a lot of. They don't. They have Sam Paoli as the manager, which is interesting. Yeah. But he's not been given the time that he had at Chile to implement the systems. Um, it's all just going to be based around let's get the ball to Messi. When you think Messi was mm-hmm. the you know for, first name in the team sheet and then Lanzini, like that's you have a problem. Yeah, well that's the thing, and the <laughs> fact that they're not, they had to ask let Messi whether he was able to bring the ball, which is fucking crazy. Like. Well, I think uh, the Messi thing interests me, right? Because the, 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 it was rubbish earlier on today, but I said that Messi, if you were given a choice between Messi and the Brazilian Ronaldo or the Portuguese Ronaldo 
and Maradona. Which two would you take to lead your team into a World Cup? And I'd always go with the Portuguese Ronaldo and the Argentinian Maradona over the other two. Oh, you just you'd have Maradona. Mm. It doesn't make a difference. Who but else both well. both of them have, have, have both of them are basically relentless winners, and they've done it and proved it at, mm. at the at international level, right? So the one thing that Ronaldo, the Brazilian Ronaldo, has over it that he did it as well at international level, mm. but. People can, can, can argue this till the cows come home. Messi's an amazing player, and we all agree with that. that, that there's nothing mm. there. But at international, to have a meltdown. I know, but at, at international level, he's failed. He's mm. failed repeatedly yeah. on the big stage. Yeah. He has not, he's not won an international tournament since he made his debut in 2005. It's 13 years. Not with mm. the Olympics, no. But that's not, no, well, I'm talking about. Yeah. He's, he, they haven't won a Copa, a Copa America with Messi leading the team. Yeah. Mm. They haven't won a World Cup. Mm. And he's been to the 2006, the 2010, the 2014, mm. and the 2018. There's going to be four World Cups. They haven't even made a World Cup final in those four World Cups. Apart from the last one. Apart from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> could be something to do with having no magic juice injections when he goes to the international duty. That could well be the case. Or the fact that he didn't have Iniesta and Xavi. Or, the, or the f- like, I look at oh, Di Maria. The, I think oh, his best chance to win the World Cup was the last World Cup. I think mm. with Di Maria in that mm. side, he was Di Maria was on top form at that time, and he was as important to that Argentinian yeah. team as Messi was. Yeah. And when he got injured in the was it the quarterfinal match, they they didn't look anywhere near the yeah. team. They were was. heavily talked up for the last yeah. World Cup, but they should, they would have won it if they had someone else up front apart from Higuain who missed fucking how many sitters in the World Cup final. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Andy, um, let's wrap it up on England, right? Because I know we had uh, in, uh, like you know, but. Could you see yourself cheering for them at any stage? <laughs> I honestly could. Like, I mean, if I sit down and watch the England game, like, it's 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 a win-win situation, really. Yeah. Um, if they go out and embarrass themselves, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if they do, uh, if they do well, like, it's gonna it's gonna boost the Liverpool players' confidence that that are involved there. You'd you'd you know, you'd absolutely love to see Trent getting minutes out there and, um. Henderson Henderson yeah well I mean like that's that'd be my view now it's it's a win-win <laughs> to be honest <laughs> the potential is there for them to embarrass themselves yeah. because the, the, if they don't get out of that group then you know it's a bit of a disgrace, really, given that they've got was it Panama and Tunisia as the Panama, Tunisia. as well as obviously Belgium. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm, we I'm, just have Trent and Henderson now, don't we? There's not like obviously we're, we're ox. I yeah. haven't had a chance. I, yeah, I think England yeah. get to the semi-finals. Yeah. I think it's going to be horrible for me. I'm not sure they go that far. No, I think it is. I think it's it's it's. Uh, I think they're going to make the semi-finals, yeah. and I think. And, then, and I suppose, in a way, that would qualify England as dark horses. That yeah. that yeah. team mm-hmm. that you wouldn't expect to get to get to the semi. And I think they will. I think for a change, they'll actually fly through the group. Right? I think yeah. they're going to whack nearly everyone in the group over. Right? I think they're just going to batter everyone. They played yeah. them last game, so both yeah. teams yeah. true. Mm-hmm. Both yeah. teams they just have six points. Right, yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. they'll go in. Who do they play in the next round? Potentially yeah. Poland, Poland Columbia, or Senegal. Senegal. Or Colombia, or just yeah. Senegal and smash them. Poland, I, Columbia, fancy, Senegal. I fancy it's. Or I if, fan- they win the gr- if they win the group, yeah, it's one of those. Sorry. So I, I fancy England to play Colombia in the next round, and I think they beat Colombia. So who did, who did they play in the uh, next here, round? Have you, have you got them Germany in the quarterfinals. I now hang on a second. Do we know that they definitely get that? Yeah, yeah. Now that's done off. Right. Is, yeah. So England will play Germany in the semi final, right? In the quarter final. final. The quarter final. And go out. And on they win yeah. on penalties. Right. That will then kick off the type of talk you've, you've never seen. Those penalties against Germany. <laughs> Hang on. It's going to kick off the type of talk you've never seen ever across every single media outlet that we have to watch. Thankfully, if anyone's watching with Jan Janssen TV, you can turn on the American channels. You don't have to listen to that, that crap, right? But genuinely, what will happen then is they'll get into the semi. Who did they play in the semi final? Uh, they would play. Spain. They score one penalty, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> they have. I'll win one nil. I'm just thinking the one penalty. They have. But the will save every penalty. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you now, Trent. England have the best set. Pickford, isn't it? England have mm. the Pickford best England have the best set of penalty takers they've ever had in their lives. Name them. Harry Kane. Yeah, yeah. that's the only one. Harry Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Kane. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he claimed them all. He's going to take them all. He's going to cry at the referee. Yeah. I'm going to take the penalty. I'm going to take the penalty. No. Jamie Vardy. 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 Yeah. Kelly Alley. Daddy Alley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Henderson. Sterling. Fuck off. Henderson. And Sterling. Sterling. Yeah. Trent. Trent. I don't think Sterling can kick the ball that far. <laughs> who's, who's the left uh, back? Ashley Young. Ashley Young. Where's your man? <gasps> the, Danny Rose. No, your man. Plays at City. Him. John worst, worst. Oh, Kyle, Kyle Walker. Walker. Kyle yeah, Walker. He's playing more, uh, mm. uh, centre half, right centre half. Right, three. Grant Sound. Him. Him. And who's the who's the other centre backs? Stones and probably Harry Maguire. You probably Harry bleed Mag- Mag- Harry Maguire. Gary Cahill. Yeah. Gary Cahill. You'll we'll probably have Rashford on by the time penalties Rashford. come yeah. around. Yeah. As Rash- well. Rashford. Fucker, yeah. Rashford is going to be this, okay. And Rashford this, could be the break. And this, well, there, I'll, yeah. I'll wrap up on on the World Cup. So who do you think will be the player of the tournament? And also go with the surprise package, but also the player of the tournament. Oh, just so you all know, England are going to the semi-finals, so you can all lump on that. That's another bet to stick on with Reds bet tonight. Right, and as I said, Bernd Leno, 25 billion, done. New goalkeeper for Liverpool. Um, who's Play going with the tournament? Yeah. Golden Boots, um, Antoine Griezmann. Golden Boot? Yeah. 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 Player of the tournament? Yeah. Okay. Surprise player of the tournament? As no in idea. young player? No idea. Right. Andy? <laughs> um, surprise player? Mm. Won't be a surprise to me, but might be surprise orders. <laughs> <laughs> that fella Gerrero <laughs> <laughs> he's going to tear her up Jimmy Guerrero he's going to get it, yeah he's going to get a big meal back to Europe and uh, <laughs> 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 and then um, the obvious one I think uh, yeah Brazil are going to win it so Coutinho is going to be deadly oh, oh, that, that'll make me sick if yeah. it is Steve it's going to happen uh, I think Goal and Boo and probably player of the tournament to be Neymar. Okay. Um, just the way the Brazil team is shaped to be all about him. Plus, he has Coutinho feeding them, so on. Um, Can I have a look at these groups here while you're talking? Yeah, keep, keep talking there. I think... Um, it's the first time I've seen these groups. It's the interesting. Surprise player or the best young player could be uh, Timo Werner. Okay, the, the one thing I point out, whoever wins the Golden Boot mm. tends to whack in a hat-trick at some point in the tournament, yeah. and only one player net tends to do it, right? If, otherwise, it'll be four or five goals if it's shared across That's the whole That's how that man's got his, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm looking at, if you look at that England group... Mm. Harry right? Kane. Harry Kane. Against Panama and Tunisia. Yeah. Should have a field day, Luis Suarez he? against Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Russia. But Suarez is 406 years old. And has, <laughs> I'd say his knees are more grindier than Fekir's at this stage. And right? he prefers to play in goal in the World Cup anyway. <laughs> it's the greatest single moment of World Cup history. But I hate... Oh, yeah, oh, you yeah, absolutely despise Harry Kane, right? What about like, Cavani? I, Cavani could do it. But I, I'm just looking at it. When I look at, the, at who's there, I think Tunisia could be dark horses in, in, in England's group, to be totally honest with you, right? But looking across that, you could look at Timo Werner for Germany. If he plays, he's gonna he could potentially score goals against Sweden and South Korea. Argentina, you know, they'll get through the group, but I don't think they score many goals going through it. Colombia, Senegal, Japan, that's a toss up. Mane could score a hat trick in one of those goals and, and have what himself. About, if you say about Harry Kane in that group, what about Lukaku for Belgium? I know. He's got, play, yeah. he's got to face the same opposition, you know? Yeah, and Lukaku is on fire in, in the warm up games before. He's, he's scored a good few he's goals. Few yeah. goals. Yeah. So I, I'd go with Harry Kane as being the, the golden boo. Best player of the tournament, I'm going to, I think it'll be. Um, I think. Kayla Navas. I think Griezmann. I think Griezmann is, is going to be one of those. Just lights up the tournament. He mightn't be top scorer, but he'll be he'll be either second or third well, top scorer. I think it could be Mbappe if it's friend, if it's France. Maybe. I don't think I don't think Neymar stays fit. I think somebody who's in that group, Serbia, one of the Serbians are going Serbia. to smash his leg. Serbia could be dark horses actually. Yeah. Come to think of it, um, very decent squad, and uh, if that's the case, it could be Milink. What's the name? Milink take out that squad. Milink and the Savage. Yeah. Right. So there we go. That's their ultimate guide to the World Cup here. So right. <laughs> Biggest biggest load of bluffs since Grizz, isn't it? Gri- Grizz is, is Grizz just texted me there. He says that we, we that there's a deal done. I don't know what that in relation to. He could have bought a new gaff. He could have bought a fucking <coughs> new chicken shop. Could have got himself a handbag or something or a hat to go with his forty hat. But right, who's winning the World Cup predictions? France. France. France yeah. And who's the runner up? Um, if it can work out that way, um, just say team. any combination can, but France to beat Brazil. Okay, Andy. Brazil Germany final. What about Peru? What? What about Peru? Tour place winners. 
Messi against uh, England. Brazil winning yeah. Spain, runner us up. Okay, I'm going with. Um, I did say England would get all the way to the semi final. I'm going with a Brazil England final and England to win it on penalties. <laughs> Every knockout game just penalties. on penalties. penalties. Every Three knockout minutes. game. They're going to, the, uh, Southgate is going to perfect the Hodgson art of not winning a match after the group phase. <laughs> 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 they win 1 5 nil, go through on goal difference in second place, mm. and then penalty their way right the way through. The, the only question around England is they draw with Tunisia. They're in serious problems. Listen to me. You can say that all you want. I'm telling you now. England, Who's the danger man for Tunisia? Uh, Al Mohamedi. I'll tell you now. Just one second there, I'll tell you now. Um, uh, by the way, sticker. it is, we have, we have the Patini sticker book here, that's the guy to wear World Cup, and you've even got <laughs> stickers in it, you'd be absolutely <laughs> yeah, weird. I was looking there at Morocco and I was thinking, that's he's out there making a mistake there. Who's, who's the... <laughs> that, that's not in it. I haven't got a clue. I'm Mohammed. Mohammed al Hamamadi. Ah, you are. Mohammed al Hamamadi. Yusuf al Mohammadi. Yes, Quadrant Benzama. Whatever happened to Yusuf? Huh? Whatever happened to him? Who? Yusuf. Yunus Yusuf or Yusuf Yusuf? Whichever. The DJ Yusuf? <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> right. Um, anyway. Ray Dickinson, Andy Young, Stephen Brown, James, thank you all for joining us tonight. Thanks everyone for watching it. It took us a while to get in here um, and a big thanks as well to James for letting us do here tonight. Um, we are getting very close to our bunker being finalised. There's a Kofi uh, promo going at the end that we're hoping you guys could get involved in. If you want to donate the price of a point or the price of two points, for the two points, you will get your name on the new Reformers bunker wall as part of some lovely artwork that's going on. Um, there's a link in the pinned tweet that you can go mm -hmm. and go in there and, and, and we're getting lots of donations. So thank you very much to everyone who's donated so far. Um, we will be back next Next year's, are you still on the tactics board? Is it just, just, just like imaginary at this stage? The imaginary board? Surely not on Friday Seasons night. Are finished, like, well, surely not on Friday night. I don't mind. I, I've no problem. I'll do it through the World Cup. I'll the, do, the, World I'll Cup try and do, the World Cup tactics board? Yeah, I'll try and do them kind of after every round of group games. Okay. The Spain Portugal won't be very good. That's Friday night? Yeah, Friday night at 7 o'clock. That'll be very good. We can good. get something together tomorrow. We'll get a couple of lads. That, that, get that involved. game should get you sort of into the swing yeah. of things, it's really, good, at actually, that point. The, the fact of it is, the people aren't going to see everyone a lot of games. an eye on Russia, Saudi Arabia, because it's the first game. Yeah. But Spain Portugal is going to be probably everyone's first proper game to sit yeah. and watch. Yeah. And it is a great game. To get you into the World Cup completely, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll try and wax up now. And then you've got uh, some decent games over the weekend as well. Then, mm. you, yeah, the likes of uh, was it Germany, Mexico, Germany, Mexico. <coughs> it's always good to see those different styles, isn't it? You know, the different, um, mm. yeah, it's gonna be playing against one another. Very interesting World Cup, uh, tactics you guys. So, we'll see if we get a few lads, get Jamie and get, or maybe not Jamie, uh, get Gar involved tomorrow. And okay. Have a proper chat with the lads and see what they think is going to happen. Yeah, I just think uh, you know if 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 we can get it out there, and especially with Alan and, and Danny as well, yeah. and um, also Derek, who's coming on board from the football thing in that we'll, we'll give him more inf information on. He's, he's he's a top fella, um, and he's not a Liverpool fan, so he'd be good to have in as yeah. an impartial witness in terms of what's going on. Um, let's get something done. Um, you know yourself, I'm on air admin. Up, up, up for all this type of stuff, you know. And anyway, um, so look, I think that's about it. Um, I'm just trying to find this thing. I can't find it. I'm, I'm absolute. Everything was just thrown into uh, <laughs> in the Is that this in weekend. Is it the US Open? Yeah, US Open. This yeah. Weekend yeah. So well. actually, Andy, quickly, wow. the World Cup is uh, still in the US Open. Have you got any 66 to one gems for us? No, I haven't. I haven't even really sat down and looked at it, but um. Joe's the man to listen to. Mm. Who? Joe. Joe. Joe, yeah, Joe. well, Joe's, Joe's me. <laughs> All right. Fowler. Fowler. Ricky Fowler? Yeah. Well, Dustin Johnson won that competition too recently. He's not going to do it. Uh, Go for Fowler. Did he get married or something? Robbie Fowler? Ricky, Ricky Fowler. Ricky Fowler. I think I he got married. Did he? He might be all happy and squirt and tear and it up. Bash the course to mm. bits. Go for Fowler. Okay. No other reason. Um, look, if anybody, anyway, Red's Bet, of course, sponsored the podcast, and we said they are the, a fan's betting site. And to, to be fair to them, they have a World Cup fancy football competition going on. And yeah. um, the first, I said the first thousand 
the Reds bet players it's free so you can ups- no you can submit one team for free as long as you yeah as, one, as long as you want the first thousand pound players there is um, a, a big prize pool going of 25 grand we've all got teams in there mm. right mm. and yes. the lads the Harry lads Kane, did the Harry homework. Kane captain first first week is it so do you want to Ray do you want to run us quickly through your team yeah Courtois in goal uh, Tongan, mm-hmm. Jose Font mm-hmm. Thiago Silva mm-hmm. Titi mm-hmm. some lad called Svensson in mm-hmm. the middle, because you know, Svensson for Sweden's always. You mean you pressed that auto completely? James Rodriguez, Christian Eriksen, Griezmann, Bobby Firmino. So I'm not sure okay. I'll, and t- Harry Kane. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We want all you guys to get involved out there, and if you can, it, it really will make a big difference. Um, Stay as part of your part of your thing. Will you run through the various different um, day trippers teams as part of the World Cup Tactics Board? As in this fancy football, we'll send you on we'll the team and you can yeah, show the graphics yeah, yeah. up and go through yeah. the various teams and on, on what our picks are for, right? Yeah. So yeah. we'll do that all as part of the, the tactics board on Friday night. Um, thanks for watching. We know it hasn't been our normal show, and there's been a few, there's been power cuts and everything that's been, it's been. Gas Watch out for Flores off Peru, Peru. <laughs> 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 now, with that, with that, I, got a big I just noticed he's in me fancy team, Jeff- Jefferson Fairfan. Jefferson.